All right, I want to talk about adding magnets to your multimeter, and these are really useful for, you know, because a lot of times you need a third hand. You've got one hand for one lead and one for the other, and then your multimeter. So if you have a magnet, you can just hang it um, off of something metal. You can wrap it around something and hang it sort of like that. But anyways, um, <clears throat> I, I bought the fluke magnet and it was total garbage expensive as crap you know like 50 bucks um, garbage I wore it out in like six months so that got me looking into other options and um, what I finally settled on was these magnets made by Klein and uh, if you just search Klein multimeter magnet on Amazon it'll bring it right up but they come with these straps and they're they're made for Klein meters but um, I just get rid of these straps because they're, they're, they're really stiff and just not that good. Um, and what I do is I take the, the magnet and I just, um, I just cut a real thin strip of leather and use super glue on that leather. Uh, this one's been going strong for about three years now and you can see it's still, still got plenty of life left in it. But uh, what I like to do is if you have already a, um, a little spot where you can put a magnet, I just make a loop with the leather so that it swivels. And then as far as length, you want the magnet to come down and stick onto the, the batteries on the back of the meter. And, and, um, and that will keep it from flopping around when you're not using it. So... Um, so here, here's another example of one that a uh, meter that's already set up for a magnet and in that case I just um, th th this one this one I keep hanging so I've got um, let me get this out of the way I've got another uh, leather strap with another magnet right here just a little disc magnet that keeps my leads up so that when when it's hanging you know it it keeps the leads up nice and neat um, but anyways that that one will fold down as well now this is a um, this is just a dual uh, fluke dual dual temp meter and you can see this has a different design for the magnet and what I ended up doing there was just putting the leather strap down inside the case and then rolling it up so that it's it's real thick down here and can't pull back through and then attaching the magnet the same way and again super glue works awesome on leather I've never had super glue uh, release off of leather and if you if you want to make it easy also you can use like an accelerant so once you put your super glue down and put a drop of that accelerant it'll dry instantly um, if you have another a meter that doesn't actually have anywhere to hang a magnet what you can do is um, glue something in there like a rivet um, or a bolt or something just whatever you can in in the screw hole now of course you know I, I decided to use hot glue so that if I need to take it out of there to get the screw out I can but once that's in there then um, you just you know make make some holes for your leather and I would probably fold it over that way um, you don't have a piece of metal exposed on the back of your meter that might short something out but um, that's how that one works and um, I didn't actually use, this is my old fluke meter which I my, my old fluke magnet which I wore out that I just glued in a piece of leather so that's another way to do it but anyways um, this is super helpful um, for taking measurements out in the field. You can just hang your meter and then you don't have to worry about it anymore. You can, you can sit there and watch it while you're using two hands uh, with your probes. Anyways, hope that helps.